What's up, everyone? This is Edward from Carbide 3D uh, with another screencast. This is a follow-up from the previous screencast where we made this, uh, this design. And in this one, we're going to add toolpaths uh, to this design. So this is basically what we want it to look like. Uh, looking at it, we've got a profile cut here and then a big 3D contour, um, probably using two different tools. So let's start out with, can select this inside box. You see we've got a new button here called 3D Finish. So we're just going to select the outside of this pocket, click 3D Finish, and we're going to use a 201. Uh, 202 ball end mill. Click OK. This is the star pocket. Click OK here. And you can see these blue lines are the preview of the tool. But if we hit show simulation, we'll get a better idea of what that looks like. So that's what it looks like right now. I think we should go back in here. And we're going to change the step over to something smaller. Oh, wait. It's going to regenerate those toolpaths here. And if we preview it again, yeah, we get a much better looking star. It's a lot smoother. So the smaller your step over, the finer your step over, uh, the better quality you're going to get on your 3D finishes. But you're basically trading time for quality here. So find whichever setting works best for you. And you can see actually in the simulation that we, it started to make some of the letters. I mean, you can barely make them out here. That tool is so large compared to uh, the letter feature size that it just couldn't get in to do the details. So I'm going to hide that, and what we can do is we can come in here, select these two features. I'm on Windows right now. If you hold Control, uh, you can select multiple objects. So I'm going to select this text, do 3D Finish, and I'm going to change this tool to, let's do an eighth inch ball end mill. And we'll click OK. And if we do show simulation now, we'll get better looking letters. What you can do if you were going to go this route is we can hide this. Let's delete these. Actually, we can keep those. We'll just edit it. So double click. And instead of an eighth inch, we could drop down to a sixteenth inch. And this will make a huge difference. And you can even tell by the preview, like the density of the preview here, what these blue lines are, shows that more of the tool is going to be engaged inside of those features. And we can see that in the simulation. Yeah, so that looks a lot better. Uh, and then the thing to remember here is that we can combine 2D and 3D toolpaths. So if we wanted to cut this out when we were done, we could absolutely do that uh, same way that you would do it in the regular version of Carbide Create. Select the outside profile, click Contour. You probably want to use a larger cutter for this. And use Stock Bottom. We'll do Outside Cut. And we can throw some tabs in here. And click OK. Now in our simulation, we've got our 3D toolpaths on the inside here and our traditional outside toolpath on the outside. So that's it for this time. 